Hello everyone, this is Lat with Teal Street. Today I'm doing a quick video on how to add a Binance API key to Teal Street. So as you can see on the left, I have my Binance account open, and on the right, I have my Teal Street desktop app open. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and log into your Binance account as well as your Teal Street account. The process is going to be the same for adding an API key to Teal Street on the web or on desktop. So, on Binance's website, what we're going to do is click this guy and go down to API Management. Then we're going to click Create API. I'm going to call this Teal Street. Pass the little test. And we're going to need to get some authentication codes. I'm going to click Get Code, Get Code and open my Authenticator app. And while we wait, on Teal Street we can go ahead and click API Keys at the top and then click New API Key. Under Exchange, select Binance. I've got my codes coming in. And finally, I'm going to get the two-factor authentication. All right, so I've got the codes ready to go. I'm going to copy the API key and paste it here. I'm going to go ahead and copy the secret and paste that on the right. On Teal Street, we need to give the API key a nickname. I'm going to call this main. For encryption password, I'm going to choose something simple. This is an, a, a password that's only associated with your API key on Teal Street. On Binance, we need to choose some of the restrictions. So we're going to go to Edit Restrictions, and we're going to Restrict Access to Trusted IPs. So we click this to copy, and we're going to Paste here. And you can see one, two, three, four. If we click four more, we can see the rest of the IP addresses, and that's good. Next, we need to enable futures. We don't need to enable spot because Teal Street does not support spot. We don't need these two because Teal Street currently does not support that as well. And we don't need these either. So we're going to go up here and we're going to click save. And to make these changes, we need to put in our two-factor authentication code one last time. And our API edit is a success. So on Teal Street, we can click Create. All right. So you can see up here, it's processed successfully and it's saved. We can go to the top and click Trade. And you'll notice we don't have an API key selected yet, so we'll go here to the drop-down menu and we'll select Binance. We need to type in our encryption password, which we just created. That went successfully. And you can see that we have successfully added our API key. If you don't see your margin at first, what you probably need to do is open a USDT contract. So that way, if you have USDT as your margin in your Binance account, you need to click on or select a USDT margined pair, such as this one, Ave USDT. And you can now see that $9, almost $10, is showing up in my Binance margin. Now, a couple things about adding API keys to Teal Street. One thing you noticed that you uh, might have noticed that I typed in was the API encryption password. Now this is an extra layer of security to help protect your API keys. If you're interested about learning more uh, of the API encryption password, you should go to docs.tealstreet.io and navigate to API encryption, where we have some documentation about what the API encryption password is, its purpose, and how it works. 
if you want to learn how to create or link a Binance API key to Teal Street, you can also use the documentation page as well. Under Connect, navigate down to Binance, and there is a full tutorial on how to do it. Final note with creating an API key for Teal Street and Binance is there are quite a bit, there's quite a bit of sensitive information when you're creating an API key. Things like your API secret, your two-factor authentication. This is what we'd consider pretty sensitive information, and it's it's never a good idea to share it with anyone. So keep it to yourself. Um, if you ever have trouble with an API key, it's better to just delete it and create a new one and start from scratch. Um, in the video description below, I'm going to include links to the documentation page, as well as a link to join uh, the Teal Street Discord server, where if you need any help, you can post in our support channels and get some assistance from people that are developing Teal Street actively. So thank you to everyone for listening and watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.